And a teacher in Kokomo is recovering from serious injuries after also being hit on her bicycle last month. That accident took place while she was training for a charity ride to benefit disabled veterans. She talked with Eyewitness News reporter Jenny Runovich tonight about her determination to walk, ride a bike again, and continue her mission to help others. At St. Vincent Hospital. So, yeah, we're just making the best of everything, aren't we? Under a patchwork of prayer from her students in church. Isn't that sweet? Teacher, swim coach, and cyclist Danita Walters is facing her toughest challenge yet. This is a new mountain. It truly is. A long road to recovery with a grueling schedule of physical therapy after an accident nearly took her life. I came back to my room a little disheveled yesterday going, oh my gosh, I could get on my bike and cycle 50 miles and now I can't even lift my left leg off the floor. It's quite a change for this adventurous athlete. Last month, Walters was set to bicycle cross country to support a charity that builds homes for disabled veterans. <laughs> But on her last training ride, headed home from Kokomo High School, a car hit her from behind. And I heard screeching tires, and then I felt the impact. And I don't remember anything until seeing my husband at the end of the ambulance. Walters has a broken neck, a shattered pelvis. Rods and hinges are holding everything together right now. We're working toward getting back 100%. Doctors say that'll take 12 to 18 months. But Walters has a goal with a more urgent timeline. Our oldest son gets married on October 1st, and I want to dance with my son. I do. I want to dance with him. She also wants to get back on that bike and complete her mission of helping disabled veterans. The Wandering Project is still raising money, even though her ride is on hold. I have my legs, and I'm going to walk, but they don't. But I'm, I'm feeling the rigors of physical therapy. I'm feeling the rigors of a broken body. But I didn't get mine in battle. Now she's battling for those heroes to recover and ride again. It's hard. It's really hard. But I want to get better. I, I want to get better. I want to get better. Walters hopes while she's in the hospital, even more money is raised for veterans. We have information on how you can help on WTHR.com. She also wants to raise awareness about bike safety. Unlike here, there were no bike lanes where she was hit. So she wants to remind drivers to share the road with cyclists and remind cyclists to wear a helmet. That's what saved her life. John? All right, thank you. Jenny Runovich reporting tonight. Carmel